So Windows 11, like everything else, introduced AI features. It's supposed to be helpful, but generally speaking, AI stuff's usually pretty hardware intensive. If you have an iPhone, Apple just introduced Apple Intelligence, and the oldest phone that'll run it is the iPhone 15 Pro. That phone's only a year and a half old. It takes decent hardware to run AI. So my question is, with the Windows 11 Copilot, what's the oldest computer we can get that running on? And that's where this comes in. This is a Dell Dimension E310 from like 2006. And even in 06, this thing was kind of crap. So if you're around my age, like 23, computers like this were everywhere. Every computer lab, every home PC had these stickers, the Pentium 4 and Windows XP. Even if you know nothing about computers, this probably seems nostalgic to you. The Pentium 4 has been out of production since like 2008, and Windows 11 system requirements require a CPU from 2017 or newer. So this seems kind of doomed, but we'll see what we can do, and I'm going to explain how, and you don't need to be technical to understand. So first of all, what are the AI features on a new computer? Well, for starters, the Copilot app is basically like ChatGPT, but for Windows. So you can just talk to it like a chat app, and it's going to do it. You can have it write your essays for you, you can have it plagiarize, it's good at all of it. But over in Paint, it's where it gets kind of cool. So you can take a regular image, and you can have AI just remove the background for you with a click. You can also use the image generator. So a blue cat, and you can select style. So I'm going to pixel art, create, and theoretically, this is going to generate a blue cat. Um, and there we go. You can paste that right in, and then what you've just pasted in, theoretically speaking, well, it's going to cover the other cat, I can remove its background. And there you go. These simple features are powered by AI. So what we're going to do is see if we can make a Pentium 4 system designed for Windows XP run these AI features. So instead of trying to install Windows 11 onto this guy, I'm just going to put the Windows 11 hard drive I was just using into it. This is just going to make it easier. If you try to install Windows 11 from scratch, it will complain that it doesn't meet the system requirements. Windows 11 wants 4 gigs of RAM. This guy's got 2. Um, it wants a CPU from 2017 or newer. We're over 10 years older than that. And a bunch of other modern gunk and security features that this thing has no concept of. One hard drive swap later, we're going to boot it up. I'm gonna have to record it like this, and you'll see in a second why. So after a multi-minute boot, we're at the desktop. So real quick, why does this work? You can skip to here if you want to be spared the nerd stuff, but it's really interesting. So all software is written in a language. In this case, it's called x86. Similar to English, if you took a speaker from 50 years ago, you and them could probably communicate just fine. But if you take someone from like 200 years ago, you'll end up using words that they don't understand. In the language of x86, Windows 11 is written with certain words in mind, or instructions. Now, despite officially asking for a CPU from 2017 or newer, any CPU that understands those words or instructions will technically be able to run it. So if you have an old Pentium 4 PC, does it support all of those? Oh yeah, it's real simple. Yes, but only these ones. About two thirds of the way through the Pentium 4's production, these instructions were added. This is about as old as you can go. If your processor model starts with a six, it seems like you'll be fine. So question being, do the AI features work? So in real time, I'm gonna open up Task Manager. You can wait a sec with me. Um, coming it's coming we can see uh we're sitting at a hundred percent cpu utilization doing absolutely nothing we're just sitting at the desktop ram is good though establishing that let's try copilot see what happens oh it's thinking about it it is trying really hard i will give it that oh holy crap I think, I think we're in. Yo, all right, all right, all right. Just letting it catch up. So, hello. What kind of PC do I have? 
frame rate's a good, you know, it's it's just a text client and the frame rate's bad. All right, so Copilot's saying it can't directly, uh, yeah, okay. Copilot's no fun. So Copilot opens and in theory, it will probably help you, albeit at like five frames a second. So let's see if we can get to paint. So in real time, I'm gonna hit the Windows key, type in paint and hit enter. I've already done that. We're waiting for it to catch up with me right now. We're almost there. Hey, all right. So first we're gonna try if we can remove backgrounds. So we'll take this cat example again. Honestly, paint's not running all too bad, all things considered. And we're gonna click remove background. It's doing the animation. Um, this has already taken much longer than it did uh, on a normal computer. Hasn't given up. And yep, there you go. No more background on the cat. See if we can do what we did before. We'll open up the image generator. It wants me to sign into my Microsoft account. Let's do that real quick. Dude, this is actually like, this is nauseatingly slow. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've got three loading bars in front of me and nothing's happening. Oh, we've lost the cat. Probably out of memory. We're probably horribly out of memory. This computer is unusable. <laughs> Like, this is bad. This is completely awful. I'm control deleting right now. It is, it's completely crashed. We're gonna restart. So after a catastrophic failure, we are restarting the computer and we're gonna try the image generator again. Honestly, having that cat JPEG in memory might have been the, uh, the killing blow to the whole thing. All right, so we're gonna try image creator once again. So sign in. And I'm gonna do nothing at all and hope this figures it out. This is not worth cat AI art. It's just not, it's just not. Something's gonna give eventually. Either it'll work, it'll time out, or the power supply will blow on this thing finally and I can go to bed. What is happening? <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this just isn't gonna work. Oh, holy sh hold up a sec. I think it almost worked. That took, that loaded for seven minutes. It's still loading here, but I have a profile picture up here. The sign in page went away, and we might. Oh. We're in. Oh, OneDrive, get, get, nah, none of that. In old computer on fire and let's get that in um anime style yeah that that sounds about right so um i'm prepared to wait another seven to ten minutes but let's see what happens that uh that looks like a computer on fire okay so it works just everything on the system, especially sign-in stuff, is glacial. Um, it seems like, yeah, the Pentium 4 will brute force its way through the problem. So it's nice to see that these systems, at least at a tech level, can keep up. Not at a usability one, but what I did find while making this is that's also coming to an end. So this version of Windows is 23H2 released in 2023, and when trying to make this video, I learned that the latest build, 24H2, just won't boot on the Pentium 4. That's because, like we talked about earlier, it requires this new instruction. And that was introduced in roughly 2011, so anything that predates that will not run Windows 11 24H2. Yeah, the age of these Windows XP computers technically being able to be band-aided into running the latest thing is pretty much over. Now granted, using this as is is an experience in patience and just pain, 
But that's also more of an example of how crap this computer is. It's pretty much a potato and it was from the start. You could theoretically build a more powerful Pentium 4 system with a lot of RAM and a real GPU that can run at a real resolution. And maybe, honestly, that'll be a project I try in the future because I think it'd be fun. At least for the time being, at least for right now, yes, your old Pentium 4 Windows XP computer can be dragged kicking and screaming into the age of AI a little bit. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.